Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome back, everybody, up to Dr. Bob Lee from 107.5 WBLS. And our next guest is no stranger to the show. She is the founder of Yodigo Nomas, the CEO of Formate Medical Center and Urgent Care. She's here with us today to speak about how she's taken an entirely new challenge and reflects on what led her to this decision. So please welcome to the show, Maria hey. Trusta. Hey, Maria, Bob, thank welcome. you so much for having me yeah. here. I, I've, you're like family to me now. I've, I've been here yeah. and you guys are promoting our mission, so I appreciate you. You know, you never cease to amaze us with the, the many things, the wonderful things that you're doing. And of course, you have a history, you've been through a lot, and now you're out helping others. And, and that's important, helping to soothe our community, so to speak. But the, you're, you're into a whole nother thing. So tell us about it. I'll let you uh, kick it off. You know, Bob, I decided at some point that I really wanted to explore limitations in my life, that how do I get into the business of crushing limits? And yeah. in 2019, I remember uh, setting up goals with my son. And at the beginning, he says to me, mom, what are you going to do this year that is going to uh, take you to another level? Like something that you, you feel that you need to do and that you've been afraid to do. So, so your, son I, know, son knows that. That? You're not, your son knows that you're not going to just stay at a certain level. You're going to move on. To, mom, what's next? He pushes me. We push each other. We're like really best friends. And I said, well, you know, I'm going to go back to uh, doing ballroom dancing because I haven't done ballroom dancing for a long time. And he's like, no, you've done that before. <laughs> <laughs> and uh -huh. then he says to me, how about a, um, a marathon? I mean, you've never run before. And uh -huh. I, you've talked about that this is something that it's on your bucket list. And I said, you know what? I'm going to do it. So I committed. And then he's, we started now preparing for the marathon. So two weeks later, he says to me, you now register. So Wait, I registered you're not talking for the marathon. About just, you're not just talking about a 5K or a 10K. You're talking about the New York City Marathon, 26 New York, miles. Five yeah, marathon. New York City Marathon, 26.2 yeah. miles. Yeah. It's, Bob, I ran 300 miles before Ooh. I did the, the, um, the New York City Marathon. It was the most incredible experience. And one of the things that this made me realize that this is something that you can take. It actually affects the five pillars of your life. The way that I see the pillars are your body and soul, your family, your yeah. spiritual uh, relationship, your finances, and your joy. And if you think about it, all of these, when you're crushing those limits, it actually affects each of your pillars in, in a positive way because yeah. you're reinforcing life. When you say you're gonna do something, something that it's something that you are afraid of and you confront your fears. There Woo! is- um, Go Bob, Maria, I, yes. <laughs> as, as I was training Bob yesterday, I listened to a, a, a pit bull uh, has a song, he says, do you know what spreads faster than a virus? Fear. And right. I'm like, he is so freaking right. He is so right. So then I took on, uh, I did the New York City Marathon. I crushed it. I was so happy with my time and I wasn't even doing it for time. I yeah. was, I, I wanted to show up. So then I decided that I was gonna do a body fitness competition because I've always wanted to do that. And I started training for that, but then the pandemic came. So yeah. nothing happened in 2020, 2020. In 2021, I decided I was gonna do a relay Ironman. And Ironman, for those of you that don't know, it's one of the most difficult races that you could take. It's a, a triathlon that, so the way it goes, Bob, is 1.2 miles of swimming. Then you get on a bike, on a cycling bike for 56 miles, and then you run 13 miles. So last year, I joined my children. One, my, one of my boys did the swimming, and then he gave me the bracelet. And then I went and did 56 miles on a cycling bike, which I've never done before. It was a lot of work to train for it. 
it was, I started training in May, in February, and the race was in September. So all of those months of training, I fell so many times, but I would get up. You would, I would fail and get up. I have bruises everywhere. So I did that and the, the rush was incredible when I was there. And yeah. that day I said to my son, when I finished, I said to my kids, I am doing the full thing next year. I've never swum before. And Bob, people say, you know, I'm Dominican. So they think because you come <laughs> from an island that you were a swimmer. Not me. I don't know if you swim. Do you swim? I swim, but not that many miles. <laughs> I guess swim back and forth. Yeah. Olympics. So if you make the commitment, you yeah. could do it. And that's what I'm showing that it's really about making the commitment. And when you do that, and, and that's why I, I was saying to you that the five pillars of your life get affected because if yeah. you make a commitment like that in your body and soul, because mm -hmm. they're connected, then it affects the commitments that you're making in the other pillars. And I see it. I see it. When I started, uh, when I made that decision, let me tell you, I was very afraid because I've never swung in my life. I can do, I call it a doggy dance, you know, <laughs> <laughs> but swimming, no. So I made the commitment and then I started training in January. Yeah. I started taking lessons, basic learning how to do freestyle. It's been tough. But I can tell you that I am swimming open water already. I last wow. night I was swimming at a lake with my wetsuit. And I am, I was telling my coach, I said, I am already, I can see myself in that river. I will be in September 25th doing a 70.3. So I will be going for 70.3 miles. It would be hours, Ooh. probably, I'm saying to myself, seven hours, but I'm going to be swimming 1.2 miles. I'm getting off this, the river. I get on the bike, do 56 miles, and then I go to the finish line, 13 miles, which is half a marathon. And yeah. I, could, I could already see my kids and my family waiting for me there. Yeah. It's an incredible commitment. Well, we got to see if we can uh, get that uh, videotaped or filmed. At that, where's the finish line? Uh, it's going to be in Augusta, Georgia. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. So I um, I chose that one because I am, I'll be swimming in a river. So as a new swimmer, it is the best uh, swim. You know, the best Ironman to do when yeah. because if I'm swimming in the ocean, I mean, some of them are ridiculous. So. Yeah. I chose that one, but don't worry. We're, my team is coming. We're going to be filming everything. Because the idea is, as you know, I am a woman that wants to live a limitless life. I do it with my business. I'm a woman with a mission to impact millions of people. And if I can show people that, look, I'm doing this for me. And that's, yeah. that's the biggest thing that I want people to take. Um, I remember when I did last year, the Ironman with my children, uh, my son was asked by one of my team members, uh, what is the thing that your mom inspired you the most? And he said, you know, my mom gives a lot to everyone. Yes. And my yes. mom knows how to give a lot to herself. Yeah. And when she did, does this, it's for her. And this is for me. I, yeah. I share with you, Bob, that I've gone through the hardest time in my life this year. I, I have had some family, serious family issues. And I can tell you that this and, commitment has kept me sane. Yeah, I show know, up. Not only that, Maria, what you've come through in the beginning, you know, our conversations uh, early on when we first started talking, what you've come through, what, you, what it was like back then compared to what it is like now. Yeah. You've come through a lot. I, you've endured so much pain. You, you have a lot of love going, riding with you, you know, with the family and, and the wonderful things that you're accomplishing now. I think that's Thank special. You. Bob, yeah. the resilience, if we can take that pain into a catalyst to change, the resilience yeah. that we have already, people like us, as you know, some of you that don't know me, 
I have a movement where I bring awareness to what I call the silent pandemic of sexual abuse of yes. our Latino children. And it's not just a Latino problem. It is a worldwide problem. But I was sexually abused at the age of nine. And it was by my father who gave me to a man yes. uh, to do this. And I talked about in this mission, but when I think of the resilience that it took for me to be able to heal, to go in the healing journey, that same resilience can get you to do the things that you are afraid of, but you have to jump. You have yes. to first commit and just jump, get uncomfortable. Because yeah. when you're not uncomfortable, and this is something that people say a lot, but it is the truth. Pop, if you are comfortable, I say, you're not growing. If you want to live a limitless life, you have to get very uncomfortable. That's what I do. And when I'm oh, yeah. too, say it again. Thank you. Thank you so much. You're going to give me a hard rep, but you need to come back again and bring some of the videotape back with you so we can share some of your wonderful experience, okay? And then I give will us do that. Website. Before you go, give us a website where we can it's go and see. MariaTrusa.org. MariaTrusa.org. And our website for the movement, yodigonomas.com. Please visit us. Founder of yodigonomas.com. And she's the CEO of Forme Medical Center and Urgent Care. Maria Trusa. Thank you, Maria. Thank you for having me again, Bob. Take care. Take care. Bobby C, he's up next. He has the latest in the world of sports. Don't move a muscle. We've got you covered right here on Open.